Hi guys, my name is Anu Jindal. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Morning Tales for 2019 August 6th. So today we are not only going to discuss some current affairs questions, but I have also created a set of questions for you which look like static but which have been taken from current affairs. So a lot of students call me and ask me often, sir, uh, all these static questions, all these uh, informations that we are required to mug up, is there no reason behind asking a question? Well, there often is. And that is that whatever is connected with current affairs, static information related to that is turned into a question and asked as a static questions. So that's what we are going to discuss today. We are going to cover some static questions and some current affairs, factual questions as well. Okay, so let us start with this session with my first question. The question is, where will ISRO build its space situational awareness control center? The uh, area is important, but at the same time, it is also important to understand what is space situational awareness control center. The primary reason behind creating this awareness center is to understand or uh, protect ISRO's assets in the space from inactive satellites, from uh, various pieces of orbiting object, which you called a space debris, various Earth asteroids and space adverse weather conditions. Okay, so all these things are going to be covered under this Space Situational Awareness Control Center, which is said to be launched in Bengaluru. So the answer to the first question is B, Bengaluru. Let's jump directly to the second question, which is which company has partnered with Apollo Hospital Group to set up the National Clinical Coordination Committee for AI powered cardiovascular projects. Now, why is this important? I wanted to discuss this with you because it is AI powered. The purpose, the before answering the question, let me discuss with you what exactly is going to happen. So what is going to happen is these two companies are going to come together. They will set up an AI powered cardiovascular project under which five to seven years in advance of your risk of having a heart attack, of ha having any kind of cardiovascular diseases, you will be told in advance through artificial intelligence. Okay, so it will predict the odds of a patient being prone to any kind of cardiovascular diseases because these non-communicable diseases are one of the most severe diseases when it comes to cardiovascular diseases in the country and also in the entire world. So uh, Apollo and Microsoft, these two companies have come together. Third question, very important, although from polity, but I believe you should be aware about it. And I want you to answer this question. In which part of the constitution in the, is the article 370 described? Article uh, part 21, 7, 10, 9 or 15. These are the options. So you have to answer this question for me. A little bit about Article 370 of the Constitution. Article 370 and Article 35A. If you don't know, then these two are the articles which provide special position or special provisions for Jammu and Kashmir in India. Now, they give special status to the region of Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, they were supposed to be temporary and transitional in nature, but they had become uh, permanent because they could not be removed. What happened uh, and wh why and when was Article 370 created? Now, what hap happened was when the Constituent Assembly of India was working on creating the constitution, the Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir was also invited to create a constitution for itself. And that uh, constituent assembly created a constitution for itself and recommended that the articles of India should apply to the state only to a li limited extent. Okay, therefore, it creates or provides a special provision to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. There are certain uh, restrictions for people outside of JNK, for example, if you're not aware, property rights. So, people outside JNK cannot buy property in JNK. Okay. Uh, they have a separate set of laws, so Indian laws don't stand in Jammu and Kashmir. Wherever you read it, uh, whatever new act is, uh, you know, passed, it says to the entire region except Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, so those are the special provisions which JNK had, and these kind of provisions now stand removed after Article 370 has been removed completely. Question four, how many people were killed in the world for environmental activism in 2018, according to the Global Witness Report? Now, this Global Witness Report was released very recently 
and also the number of deaths for environmental activism which means that people who are involved in environmental activism they have been killed around the world <coughs> uh, by the people who are who don't like the, this kind of activism or which goes against their uh, lobbies or their interest okay so a total of 164 people have been killed so the answer is b it, it is down from 197 people in 2017 but still a lot of deaths have been uh, recorded and between 2008 to 15 more than uh, 1700 activists have been killed in this entire century okay so that's these are the numbers that are important and i believe you should be aware about them this fifth question is very important very high chances that this question is going to be asked in the examination who has become the first man to cross the english channel by flying on his hoverboard the answer to this question is uh, 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 Frankie Zapata, Frankie Zapata D, who has become the first person to cross the English Channel on a jet-powered hoverboard. And the interesting thing is that he's created it, it himself and a total of 35 kilometers across the Strait of Dover. So that is something geographical in nature that you need to remember. Strait of Dover was covered by Zapata. Okay. Question 6. Who has been chosen for the International Honor for Excellence Award given by International Broadcasting Convention? Now, IBC provides honors and awards in the field of cinema. That is number one information that you need to remember. Number two, IBC has given it to Andy Serkis this year, uh, the International Honor for Excellence for working in the field of creative vision. For example, if you have seen Lord of the Rings or if you have seen Planet of the Apes, you would uh, remember or you would understand what I'm talking about. All those animals and apes are actually not real. They're actually creative visions that have been created, but they look like real. So all that motion capture technique that is used was designed and, uh, uh, you know, professionalized by Andy Serkis. So Lord of the Rings, Planet of Apes trilogy, all these kinds of movies have been designed by Andy Serkis and for that he's got international award for excellence okay next one which of the following is the first Indian pair to win the Thailand Open BWF Super 500 Badminton Championship 2019 now sports questions are often asked in these examinations so I think it's very important that you cover them the answer is Satvik Sairaj and Chirag Shetty these two people in the mixed or in the uh, double uh, uh, category have uh, uh, got a gold in the BWF Super 500 Badminton Championship which has concluded very recently. This interesting is this question is very interesting. The question is who has won gold medal at <coughs> Poland Open Wrestling Championship 2019? The answer to this question is Vinesh Pogat. But Vinesh Pogat is not the one on whom the movie uh, was created by Amir Khan. You have to tell me the names of those two girls on whom the movie was created. The uh, name of the father was Mahavir Singh Pogat. Okay. Uh, but the girls, the uh, Vinesh Pogat is not one of the girls. Okay. Vinesh Pogat, however, is connected with those girls. So if you Google it, you will be able to understand it and find out find out uh, what exactly am i talking about so the gold medal at poland open wrestling championship has been won by vinesh Pogat. who has won a kits buhil to pronounce it uh, literally kits buhil clay coat tournament 2019 dominic theme dominic theme has won the kits buhil clay coat tournament 2019 now this is the austrian open and dominic theme is also an austrian so it's an Austrian Open. So if it asked in the examination, it can be what is the name of Austrian Open in the field of tennis? Kitzbühel. Okay. Where is Kondinia Wildlife Sanctuary located? This is an interesting and a very important question. I'm expecting this question to be asked in the examination. Kondinia Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Andhra Pradesh and it's an elephant reserve as well. And this has been in news for the past one month because a total of three elephants have died in this uh, wildlife sanctuary and elephant reserve because of various reasons because of some uh, changes in hormonal activity which happens among elephants at this time of the year uh, some elephants have been fighting secondly uh, some elephants have uh, 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 died because they got stuck in the 
uh, wires they were electrocuted in those wires because they had live electricity running through them so the answer to this question is Andhra Pradesh and why is this confusing it is confusing because Kondinya is on the border of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and often it is confused whether it is in Andhra Pradesh or whether it is in Tamil Nadu but officially it comes under Andhra Pradesh and also maintained by the government of Andhra Pradesh okay so these were all questions uh, for 6th August 2019 I hope you like them I will be discussing more questions tomorrow we will try and have lengthier discussions as well if you like the lecture do not forget to subscribe to the channel and along with this uh, session that we are holding at 8 o'clock in the morning I have another session starting at 6 o'clock in the morning which is in the field of finance so all those preparing for RBI or SEBI examination do not forget to uh, watch that session every day or every now and then is going to be held at 6 o'clock in the morning and it's going to be very very interesting for you guys okay I hope you like the lesson all the very best take care have a nice day